Oh, I heard that chomping noise, I know what that means. Uh, Alright, I'm back. There you go. Yeah, but, um, saying, um... Yeah, Spyro 3 and Crash 3 sh show a lot of similarities in, s in the sense that, like, it has, like, they have, they both have, like, multiple uh, gameplay styles and stuff. Um, which is kind of interesting, actually. Naughty Dog and Insomniac, but I think, were they located, like, in the same building? I think so. They were, like, buddy-buddy and all that, so... They were, they were on very good terms. Yeah. In fact, um, I forgot what the cop code was, but in Spyro, in Crash 3, if you do a certain code, you can get a Spyro 1 demo. It was basically the it? Konami code, more or less. What was it? Up, down, and up, down, left, right, left, right, circle? Something like that. And it's, and, and it's the exact same code for, um, to do, in, um, the Oregon, isn't it? I think. Yeah, are we gonna be doing a Crash Bash demo, Harry? Um... Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Why was it going off? I mean, I I uh, <laughs> I mean, I didn't I didn't do part. the demos for Spyro One and two, or Two, but if you want me to do an extra video, so I can. I love Crash. I I, I love Crash. Wolf Farley, but I accidentally threw his ball down this hole, and he went in after it. Now he's stuck down. I'm off. I yeah. feel so helpless sitting up here, listening to his steadily softening whispers. I will. Uh, Don't cry. Wolf. I will say this, Never like, cry, uh, like, uh, <laughs> when, uh, comparing this game to Crash Three, I, I do admittedly think this game does a generally better job in easing the player into different playstyles compared to Crash Three. Uh, yeah. Also, music here is different. Yeah. Sorry, it's bugging me. It's like yeah. it's like the it's sound issues I had during Sonic Colors or Sonic Heroes on commentary. Yeah. Well, the, I think I think the issue with, in this game's case is just the fact that just rough, uh, rush development and stuff. Well, let me. Well, cause like my yeah my. <laughs> yeah. That's cute. As far as um. Uh, I'm gonna say, as far as, as far as, um, like, mission, like, side mission, ex what am I trying to say? What am I trying to say? Something about side missions? Yeah, I feel more, I actually care about, I actually care about <laughs> this one. Yeah. I mean, it's basically, uh, remember, like, the, wherever, the, 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 there was a pet in, um, a Spyro 2 level, I forget which one. Uh, oh, I think I missed Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Uh, the... The... The s snow leopard or something? Yeah. Um, because, like, that one was, like, really, like, no-brainer. Um, it was... It's cute, but in terms of, like, gameplay, it's kind of a waste of time. Whereas this, like, uses a similar idea, but actually makes puzzles out of it. So... Okay, it was a bit too fast on that. Wait, can't you just lower the thing down? Oh yeah, I can. <laughs> Oops. I know what this music is! What? It says it ruins! Oh. Yeah, this is Desert Ruins! Uh, not to be confused to, uh, the Lost World, uh, the stage in Sonic Lost World. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, but, yeah, this is the music on the fourth hub. Yeah. I can tell what, I can tell what the, uh, yeah, noises. Yeah. What the hell is that? Mm. And yay, reunited. Hey! 
How can I ever thank you? I mean, I could give you this old egg, but Farley's been chewing on it, and it's kind of slimy. Oh, well. Oh, I don't mean to skip skip it like that, but whatever. Hey, it's Liss. These dragons are going to have like problems when when all this is done through. <laughs> well, I don't know had syndrome. <laughs> so, what? So, what you say, Jason? Never mind. So some of these egg like eggs are like really resilient, though. Like you see. Some of the stuff that happens later. Yeah. Yeah, let's just play a second bird, I guess. Boy, I hope the music changes. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> uh, about that. There's a reason why Sergeant Bird's I optional in dialogue there. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was That's, thrown for a loop when I first played the game, because I was like... Wait, wait like, why is he in the normal level? What's going on? <laughs> yeah. Because there's a lot of areas you just flat out can't get to without Sergeant Bird. Also, let's go find our little friend. Yeah. He's up here, so... Let's kill these guys first. But yeah, I think every every um, side character has at least four sections. I think, including this. Uh, yeah, yeah, I believe so. Uh, Sheila has one more though, just because uh, benefit of being the first one, I guess. You're doing well, great. like Batman and Please oh, hi Uga. So <laughs> put my friend back together. Remember this? Hey, guess what? Yeah. You have to do it again, but, uh... Yeah. Dang it. Okay, I'm making dumb mistakes. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, no. Kill some sheep. Yep. Oh, man. Yep. Yeah, there's an enemy down here. And thankfully, uh, um, you don't have to worry about the gems going into like the abyss or whatever. They'll just like, they fly uh, straight. To yeah, they'll fly there. straight to you. So sometimes they take a while to spawn in, which makes it a bit worrying, though. Seriously. No. But yeah, it's, it's possible to get some of the, um, some of the bones of Sparrow, but, like, yeah. Don't bother. Yeah. Yeah, just uh, listen out for, like, the bone-chewing sound. It's like, if I was made for such a bird and just add pop on the Spyro, it would have sounded. Yeah. Like, as soon as you reach Sergeant Bird, uh, po like portal, it's basic. It just basic basically becomes his level more or less. Why not the level? Yeah. Uh, Jen, you wanna? Pop okay. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> like the thing, you obviously have to do like some um, do the um, other portals with Spyro and like do like head head bash some of the um uh. Some some stuff like um, that over there. I think the wall shows that you're trying to um, like go into an area that's only for Spyro. Hmm? Like in the book that would lead to where Carl or the dot little wolf pub was. I think it's just a big wall. Yeah, it just it, it just becomes blocked off. It's like it's like you I think it's a pavement over it or something. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about like uh, them cutting off the mini games into like their own sections in this compared to Spyro 2? It's easy to keep track of them. Yeah. I, I think it. Yeah, I think it makes it easier to manage. Uh, and um, it like what and 
I think it makes backtracking um, less less of a problem. Question. Um, what did the completionist have issues with this game with again? I don't remember. I think he, it was like it didn't uh, advance the series enough or something like that. I don't know. I think, well, I guess I guess also we can I think he, I think he used Crash yeah. Three as like a example. And what sense? In the sense that um like. Cause like in spot in this game, what it when you nothing really uh like except not counting Spyro's friends, it's like nothing really is different. Uh, I just it's just it just um like you don't have any power ups really, like counting sparks. Yeah, uh, now this thing should should bring up I guess. Uh, Spyro doesn't get any new abilities in this game. Like nope. You can get upgrades for Sparks for, through his levels, and there's like all the different characters, but as far as Spyro himself, he's just the same as he was at the end of Spyro 2, so, yeah. If, um, I, he changed, I know the completionist changed the names of his videos eventually at one point, but, um, like, I think we both, I think we both were worried when it said, when his video for Spyro 3 was Spyro 2.5. Yeah, and I don't, I still don't agree with that. Like, the thing is, uh, the thing with Spyro 3 for me is that it's basically a marriage of Spyro, Spyro's 1 and 2's, Spyro 1 and 2's ideas. Uh, whereas like, it, ha it has like the platforming elements and the, the general uh, discovery factor of the first game. Um, whereas the Spyro 2 it has a, like the, the more meat uh, from Spyro 2 with like the mini games and the extra collectibles and all that stuff. Cause um, where's the music? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's time to um restart. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, I I always have an issue with this last guy. I kind of just fly around for ages. There's a massive place here. I feel like this has to be like an ending area thing. Yeah. They're usually just in those areas. Sorry, I'm playing Final Fantasy 13. Oh. <laughs> uh. But yeah, uh, one thing that he did, uh, we did bring up uh, in Spyro 2 actually, um, is that only, only in the home was for some reason, there, where there are like, collectible orbs you can find. Um, in this game, uh, they actually make the, a thing in stages as well. Like, you can find eggs just around the levels, which... Oh, right, wait. Hmm? That, uh, that, the metal container, I can't, they don't have names, do they? Can you break those? Uh, these ones, I think you have to have Spyro. Your head Whoa! Butts. Whoa! What the heck was Momentum. that? What the heck was that? <laughs> secret, <laughs> secret dash pad. <laughs> I literally ah, just. <laughs> uh, man, I literally just. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, it's so... like. I can't with Jen. I can't with Jen's verse. Here, yeah. have this. I was going to keep it as a souvenir, but I don't have room in my luggage. Yeah, but like. I literally just tapped it. Ow. Wait a minute! If the portals have all been losing their magic and aren't really e aren't easily accessed, how do you get My here? Much mm. now. <laughs> oh no! He how does money bag go around? Again. <laughs> how did how did they, these guys get here from Avalon in the first place? Yeah. <laughs> By the way, you can give us something if you want, but we're not sticking it. Yeah. <laughs> no. I swear he's gonna do a flip. It looks yeah. Like, yeah, that animation looks uh, hella buggy. <laughs> <laughs> Reverse public for us today? <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure he's gonna do a flip. He's not. He, he's, he's not. Bug again. Huh? 
And Vicky's like, why did you come back here? He starts to do his bone dance again. Uh, we can do that, I guess. What did you have to come back for? Now he's going to do his whole routine again. Well... <laughs> get oh God. I wanna yeah. I, I want to see the glitchy flip. Okay, that's yeah. Hey, <laughs> go. Go. Oh, okay. Go, okay. <laughs> <Still> boys. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm hoping that all we need to do is just get do that head bash. <laughs> I'm still amazed at that momentum thing. That was amazing. I've never seen that before. Ready to patrol the towers and the perimeter of the island. You just did. Well, I mean, no, I'm. Well, I, I've never seen it before this playthrough. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Huh? Oh. I thought you said I'm off my game. You're off your game, Fox. Yeah. Oh. Yay! Finally. How many levels are left in this hub? Uh, there's the Panda Gardens, there's the, um, the Swamp. Do you guys want to do the Speedway? Yeah, the Speedway. I think that's it. Yeah, I think there's like, counting the Speedway, I think there's three more levels. How are we doing for time? For me, it's uh, been there for you. Uh, Alan, Alan, An hour, Alan. 42 minutes. Yeah. Alright. How long do you think it take? Uh, well, last session was like two hours long. By the way, I've been moving carefully. It actually sounds like dialogue. Yeah, you can kind of make out what you're saying. By the way, Hunter's in that barn way over there. Yeah. Yeah, I can hear the dialogue of you. I, I, the, the most I can make out is Star with the Rings. Yeah. Wait. Wait, uh... We're doing it in the right order. I kind of got confused for a second. I didn't feel like I was... Do the track as much. I thought every speedway had their own unique music track in this game. Uh, yeah, isn't this the same track from the last one? Yes. Yeah. No, wait. Actually, no, I think it's if different. It is, if it is the music glitch, I don't remember. Whoa. Actually, it might be. I think it is the same track. Oh, well. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Oh, what's called? Uh. No, wrong. Wrong thing. Country Speedway. Yeah, Country what? Speedway. Country Speedway. I'm gonna listen to Country Speedway's music then. Hurry, hurry. Come on. Okay. Yep. Alright. Oh, dick. This is the wrong song. It's playing the wrong music. Oh, Again. Wow. wow. You're gonna bunch of shit out of me, you know that, right? 
<laughs> That's the black I'm, phone. I'm, I know the musical differences. Yeah. Hey, it's Gav! See, I do, I do not want to risk getting greatest hits because uh, the P the PS One isn't isn't um, region free, and I don't and I don't know um, if uh, the PS Three will let me pl uh, play the greatest hits version. I don't want to risk it. Going at the hunter now. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is the on rails thing where you had to shoot down the cows before they had death the farmers. Yeah. But there are sheep saucers and space cows all over this place. We gotta stop them before they abduct anybody. Is it me or is there a weird, like, like, rate screen ratio? Blast some space cows. Oh? I don't know. Look out, cows. Here I come. Hunter is, uh, Hunter is uh, weird. Does it make a sense when you're going in the cutscene? Uh, I don't know, but this is a fun old mini game. Let's <laughs> play. <laughs> it's pretty easy. Point about big time. I'm pretty sure those multiple farmers are rich straight out of the final mine. Yeah. Oh crap. Oh, they attacked you? I... apparently. I don't know if they can actually kill you. Like, I... they, they might just... Oh wait, they might just miss every time, but I don't want to chance that. Then... I'm attack, but I just do one to one attack. Like, in the farm. In the farm. Yeah. I don't the farmers. Mm -hmm. It doesn't affect them. Go see the farmers. I'm not going for that. That should be. I'm going to the farmer hit him. Uh. Farmer punch! <laughs> we got the last one just before he abducted this egg. You get a lot of eggs, like, just right before something happens to them. Roberto. What the heck? Uh, in a weird bubble, I guess, okay. Hey! 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 <laughs> Please tell me somebody got that. <laughs> uh, no, that's what's on my head. He's island. Oh. <laughs> Baby Mario. Hey! 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 Uh. Generic horn noise. Alright, this is where the races start to get a little bit more difficult. Still a better flying level than Crash 3. Is that, uh, um, just going well, for one group. Well, well, I mean, these are actually these are races. The the ones in Crash 3, besides like rings of power, they're different types of levels. Yeah. Rings of Power was actually a fun level, so I can't really complain. I, I, like, levels, I, like the, I like the playing levels um, quite a bit in Insane, though. In the most. Uh, the only look a little bigger the, there. In the update that added Future Ten, didn't they make it so like Crash and Coco can play the new Ivor level? Uh, I haven't tested that. I know they added I... Dingo Dial's uh, boss quote. Oh, well, they that... did? Yeah. Like, I think they had a thing where you can play as Coco in the uh, actual bosses. Oh. They did? Yeah, because I saw a Prophecy of Gaming thing and it showed Coco doing all the Crash 1 bosses. Oh, that Maybe might be a mod. That, that, yeah, that might be, that might be like a, a mod thing because I've seen someone else do that and it was like, it, it's like some kind of hacking or something going on because I, like, uh, the, um, Coco, the. I think Coco, uh, Coco is like, kind of glitched out like. At a victory, like she just kind of jumps in the air for a se for a second and just pauses. It's kind of funny. But you know what? It it's crack one. Yeehaw! Yeah, it's basically. That was probably the joke they were going for with that mod. Yeah. No, I I, I don't know if it's like they did that. I think it was more of like a glitch in the programming. I don't think they added that in the mod specifically. I mean. 
Yeah. Oh, considering uh, that being said, since it's on PC now, I wonder if people are gonna do level mods. Raptor Cortex mod, let's go. You know that. You know someone's gonna do it. You, yeah, you joke about that, but people could actually do that. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised this one Sandy was never given a PC version. Mm. No, I mean like. Wait, what Harry, couldn't you? Uh, Sorry, Harry. Up. Uh, the second place. Oh, there you are. Come on. Okay, I thought they, that was the end. <laughs> For that portion when you were on near the ground, can you theoretically like just supercharge by them? Uh, I, I'm not risking a supercharge. I don't trust myself to do that. And they gave used two Zoe's. Yeah, literally just the same model. But yeah, uh, this game actually. But they have. Huh? <laughs> no, I was gonna say. They something. had. Yeah, you go. <laughs> they had multiple fairy models from Spyro 2 they could have used though. Oh yeah. Shemp is the name of a boss in Spyro 1. Yeah, it was like Dr. Shemp. It was like Dr. Shemp or something. I was gonna say Shaft. <laughs> hey, you dig? Save Shaft for the Castlevania stage, Jason. Yeah. Uh, but I was gonna say, um, this game uh, uses a... Um, uh, uh, it was on the top of my tongue. Um, you use a control play, yes. Yeah, yeah, you you <laughs> you use a dual so controller <laughs> to play Spyro Spyro Free, um, and uh, it's great. <laughs> I don't know. It was talking about it was like you were gonna talk about what well, I was, but talking about the two Zoe models. Uh, it it wasn't it wasn't to do with Zoe. It was um something to do with difficulty. Anyways, this is Bamboo Terrace. Rhinox have been harassing us all day. The workers haven't been able to harvest the bamboo needed for the Whirligig to take you to Evening Lake. We've tried asking them to leave, but there's no reasoning with them. Yeah, Evening Lake is the next time world, so... I imagine those pandas are going to get redesigned for the Reignited Trilogy. Well, I mean... By the way, when we come back to it later... <laughs> Oh, uh, that that uh. Oh yeah, it, 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 the, that's here. Oh, uh, the no, the 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 um. What you're thinking of the the infamous Bentley mini game is is in the third home world. Okay. Yeah, cause it. Uh, yeah, I I played. Uh, the Seasbrain run was like only a couple weeks ago, so. Yeah, this this uh, the uh, section the section uh, in the in this level isn't is actually quite. Oh uh, uh, yeah, 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 sorry. Yeah, you go up like uh, a mountain or something like that. I don't know. It's quite oh, Harry, your favorite your your favorite gimmick from Spyro Two returns for this level. Oh, oh yeah, I can't know. I don't. <laughs> I, I I don't. Okay, I don't hate it necessarily, but it, it just feels like unnecessary as you are. What? Um, the mystery jar, where like you hit the jar and then it just vanishes somewhere else, and you have to keep doing it until it breaks. Like I. I oh my gosh. Very powerful level in the third level of that too. Hmm. But the very powerful, everyone calls it. That does that too. I think so. Yeah, there's a few levels that has something like that, but I. I, I've just kind of been iffy, and I've always been iffy on, on the mystery jar because um, it, it it's not it doesn't really add anything. It just feels like unnecessary busy work. I don't know what do you think. Egg or the mystery jar? Yeah. <laughs> what, what do you think of it? I, I know, like me and Scrappy have like talked about it to nauseam. Egg an egg, but this jar could be anything. It could even be an egg. Maddie's here, lol. What now? Just, just with, oh. Yeah, just with one less D. Well, that was Madeline. Hey, Toons! That's the one I always remember. Okay. Toon? Yeah. Okay. I remember what I was uh, gonna say. Uh, uh, the this game like has some kind of form of difficulty scaling, where um, if you 
if you end up being like being really good at the game for a long period of time, it'll the game will stay on like a hard mode kind of setting. What's a secret? Is that why? Oh, is that why the Yeti kicks your ass? Um, maybe. Uh, I. I, I, I don't know if it's like in every mini game, but it's in the speed. I know it's in the speedways. Uh, whereas, like, if you just fail a race like three times in a row, it will just automatic automatically go in some kind of easy mode variant. Uh, how like um, what are they called? Um, whenever you whenever whenever, whenever you play the story mode in um like the Mortal Kombat games and all that, when if you or in arcade mode. Whenever you, as you lose, it gets progressively easier. Yeah, yeah, basically that. It's the same song and dance, really. Oh yeah, when you're playing Mortal Kombat, Harry. You uh, don't play no. Mortal Kombat. No, I, I can't handle a game like that. <laughs> play the DC one, there's that one has less blood. Okay, good again! Injustice, yeah, Injustice 2. Uh, I played, um... What's that game? Um... I, I can't remember what the game is called, but I played like a 1v1 kind of playing game with uh, Joey's brother. Um, uh, Killer, Killer Instinct, I think? Yeah, Killer Instinct. Killer Instinct. The one of the bad Yeah, that's Killer Instinct. Yeah. That one was really? enjoyable sure. enough for the time, uh, for what, uh, the time I played it. I can't see myself. <laughs> I can't see myself playing it for very long, though. So you're more of a Smash guy. Well, it's not. It's not so much that. It's just uh, Killer Instinct uh, didn't seem to have much meat on its bones. Oh, by the way, I actually, even remember this level. It does. It this one does have a kind of a kind of annoying like, mini game with Spyro. I don't remember. When we were gonna raft, you had to, and you had to help the, the, the villagers get back to their houses. Oh, uh, and you have like a super flame. Yeah, it's fucking like person. Yeah. Yeah. This might be the nicest NPCs in this game. Yeah. And there's the Better friendly thing. Or two. Yeah. I, 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 like I, I said this in the first session, I think, but there are quite a few ways to glitch into the uh, areas early uh, by like uh, clipping through things. But I just, I don't know how to do any of that stuff. I know how to clip through the gate in Spiral Four. Yeah. <laughs> Breaking Spiral Four is not an accomplishment, Jason. <laughs> and then there's a FIFA now. I like how they j um the 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 OG thieves are like absent from Spyro 2, uh, yeah Spyro 2, and then they just come back with a vengeance in the third game. Na, 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 na. There, there was like there were like thieves, different. There were like thieves in one of the I think it was Shady Oasis in the second game, but they were they were different. Like they they weren't like the blue robe guys like this. Oh, that's some. These are cheeky from the guns. That, yeah, they're also like really annoying to catch in this game. <laughs> they're much faster than, than the the other games for some reason. Yeah, I like shortcuts. Yeah, and they like to turn around if you're like too close. I love the series, by the way. Yeah. Serious music, because yeah. It, I, oh man, I can't wait to hear this in, in the uh, Ignited Trilogy. Yeah. Oh, by the way, actually that reminds me. Have you guys discussed about how apparently the Ignited Trilogy is going to be like the, in, like, one, the, the, the only one game's on the disc you have to download the other ones? Oh, we haven't, we haven't talked about that. that. No. We, like the, we don't like the, the focus on pain too much. Uh, I, it, it, for me, it just depends on how big the games themselves are. Compared to the insane crazy, I understand. Yeah, like can like Spyro is a much bigger game overall. Yui Herman. I mean, there's games that are bigger than Spyro though. I and I want to know what's going like, on. I mean, uh, when I look at a game like, I mean, uh, like wait, hold on, sorry, but like when you could, look, look, I'm gonna say I'm gonna use like the Sly Cooper like HD collection on the PlayStation for an example. Okay. 
Um, compared to that, that's literally just taking the game and HDing it, if you will, by and just like upscaling it. Yeah. Th th this Paragon is like a full on remake. You were completely different voice acting, graphics, control. Yeah. Can you save the panda workers? And like, I mean, that that's Spyro 2 especially like with all the intro and outro cutscenes has a lot of just cutscene material as well. Please, yeah. sure that I'm really looking forward to the the cutscenes in the games like Spyro 2 especially mm. because the way they redid the Colossus intro is just perfect. Uh, but um. Yeah, it, it, dep it dep again, it just depends on the size of each game, like, if, if it's, if they're like, I don't know, like 50 gigs each, then fair enough, but, yeah. No, a hundred, you need a distance to so download a hundred. Yeah, but like, I, stuff like... 14 on which it is like 68 gig. Yeah, but like, it makes... Like when I see a game like Smash Ultimate yeah. that has like a stupid amount of content and it's all on one uh, cartridge in the Switch in the Switch's uh, case, it like it makes it a little bit more questionable. I don't know. Nintendo, I think, just I don't know. It seems like Nintendo is better at compression than most devs. Wait, did that count as a loss? I'm sure you would succeed if what? you were just. Oh, that's bullcrap. Them. Huh? It's them. Yeah, it missed him. Like, what? Did I kill him? <laughs> no, you just missed. Missed the second rep. You missed the second Rhinox. I guess I hit him too late, though, because I. Bridge one throw it. Uh, but, um. Oh, no. It works up when you're not in when when there's the Ryan out there. Sparks get out of the fucking way. Yeah, Sparks is just like, hi. Oh, uh -huh. it, it's actually hilarious. Uh, at one point, oh come on, come on. Oh come no. On. Dang it. Yeah. It'd be funny if it landed on the boat. Wait, that that was really hokey. <laughs> yeah. That was so bad. Yeah. By the way. You know, you you know you're done when the supercharge runs out. Yeah. You don't have to go back for seconds. Uh, but um, no, it's funny. Um, I I don't know why I keep on mention uh, bringing up Spyro Four, but uh, at one point uh, in the level, um, uh, they <laughs> Spyro and one of the uh, NPCs kind of just like bad, t uh, like. Uh, bad mouse like dragonflies uh, or whatever, and then Sparks is just like, "Hey!" in an actual proper voice, and it's really weird. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> oh come on, hit him! I never liked this one either. I always mess up my fucking bridges. I'm... Ugh. I'm sure you didn't fuck up that badly. So I, I, I didn't, I did not have this much issue in the sea spring run, so this is annoying. Live commentary! I blame Scrappy Doo. What, what now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you when you're older. Why are you blaming corpses, Harry? <laughs> Are you implying you're dead? I'm implying Scrappy Doo is dead. That reminds me, I saw a video the other day saying, like, what killed Scrappy. Well, well, he, he, uh, no, like, how, it, 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 it kind of, like, replate how, like, how he was handled, like, it, cause, uh, what, during the first season, apparently, that Scrappy Doo showed up, he, like, he was a lot better received. Funny, cause that's actually when he's at his most annoying. <laughs> well, well, cause, no, it's like, they're in the bits. <laughs> you remember how, like when they have things where they completely cut out um, Velma, Fred, and Daphne. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, those. like it was at the uh, period where like they try to make Scrappy the leader. Was He's not the... the leader. He's just the most confident. Well, well, was that the the series where I had that other that ran, that kid or whatever? 
different that's down the line, like Scooby oh, okay. was kind of picked back and forth in the eighties. Mm. Uh box pop in. Yeah, the Y notes just kinda of pop in. <laughs> Get nice thing around, here comes. There we go. Okay. Why am I ready? craving Oreos? So I came out of nowhere. <laughs> Right, um, the good? Nice. They are good. Oh man. Yeah, these are like these are the nicest. Pet. Oh, oh Rusty, ah. his, he shows up and enters a dragonfly later. Wait, that's a girl. Hey, hey I think I'm different. I don't think I'm a different. I, 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 I was gonna make a like a like a Rusty Bucket Bay joke. It's just say, like, hey, that mini game's annoying. How about like the most infamous level of Banjo Kazooie? <laughs> Let me check that. Let me check uh, some Rusty's hey. file. So I. Yeah. Oh, we're missing. So are you doing the whole section? The session? Huh? Well, you're gonna do all midday gardens before you move on to um, and then you're it's in your session. Yeah. Uh. But so, okay. And on the on the on the like the hardest boss in the game. <laughs> Wait, what do you think is the hardest boss? Uh, like, yeah, right. second boss, I think it's the hardest. Yeah, yeah, the second is it's, it's the one we're coming next to, it's the one with the gun. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I, ha I had, I had, uh, I've done a lot to him. Yeah, the bosses are, yeah, I think, like, bosses two and three, I think, are really difficult. Scorch is, yeah. I think I recall Scorch being hard, but he's kind of entertaining. Spike's just kind of not fun for me. Uh, is Spike the first one? What? No, Buzz is the first oh, one. Spike okay. is the second. Yeah, because like Buzz, what I was doing with rolling attack. Yeah, uh, I, I um, like. Yeah, I really like the bosses. Uh, like barring Buzz, I do like the bosses in this game. Uh, wow. but yeah. All right, no, just I think. As weird as this is, yeah. As weird as it is to say, I think the boss designs, like their actual designs, are better in Spyro 2. Like, I don't know, Gulp and Crush are goofy dinosaurs, but I, I don't know, there's something endearing about them. Yeah, yeah, like, in terms of, like, I like... They have been ripped off! Huh? I, at points, it feels like they have more presses than ripped off. <laughs> yeah. I do like... I, yeah, I, as, as characters, I like Crush and Gold a lot more than basic. These are basically just generic moves that got transformed. They're effective, to be fair. Yeah, but like in terms of just characters, they're pretty boring. Okay, you need another backstory, it's a tragic backstory to why they became villains. I mean, it is kind of tragic, they didn't ask for this. Yeah. I mean. Oh, we don't even see the third one's like full out transformation, it gets cut off. Yeah. Because, like. Was it the first and second bosses are both are both Bianca and the third one is a sorceress herself, I think. No, I think only, no, I think I think so or the first one is just um Bianca. Yeah. Okay, where the heck did this thing go? It doesn't it go to the very start eventually? Yeah, but we just got this the first one now. If you oh you just did the first one? Yeah. Yeah, go back. It's near. It's actually really close. I think it's on the bridge. Time. Oh. Grab you guy! No, you guys gotta solve this on your own. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this shouldn't. This really shouldn't be like this difficult. I don't know what's going on here. Are you tired? Uh, me? No, not particularly. Eric's tired of riding on Spyro 2. Nah, I'm kidding. He'll never get tired of that. Oh, that's my favorite pastime, boy. I, lo I love uh, making enemies. It's great. You, you know your enemy. You know your enemy. I do not know the words to this song here. Yeah. Okay, seriously, where is this thing? I might just have to uh, commit seppuku just so I can reset. It. Or just go into the. How can he commit seppuku? How can Spyro commit seppuku if he doesn't have hands? <laughs> You can just walk into the bridge area and walk back out. Yeah. Or... I just do that. Oh! Okay. YOLO! No! 
No! I still love him one time. What the fuck with Maddie? I just played uh that that clip for like a ten hour. I just love the the image of one of them where she just have a, a shadowy face and just spins around. Yeah, yeah, it is uh, it is uh, it is heroes. Okay, I'm, I I swear that jar was not there before. No, it wasn't. I read a random scream shadow hat in Sonic Six. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, oh, yeah. like he's following like, his plane for. Yeah, I think. Oh I don't yeah. Know. Oh crap. I forgot that wasn't a bridge there. <laughs> well, you gotta have fun the thing again. Dang it. Oh well. It doesn't take that long. Um, yeah, I, I just like flame core. just like, you just go go down this area and just random scream for no reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like a genuine scream too. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> what the heck? It, it's fucked. <laughs> rip shadow. <laughs> rip shadow. <laughs> rip it. Rip it pieces. Rip Griffith. I'm gonna retire. What about Scrappy Doo? Mm -hmm. Uh, something. Yeah, we were talking about Scrappy Doo, and then we talked about where the hell that nonsense was. I don't know. Um. <laughs> Apparently, Scrappy became a leader in the early 80s, according to Jason. At when, when it was um, Scooby doing Scrappy. Yeah, Shaggy's the nominal leader of that configuration specifically. Yeah. Wasn't that. That, that was like a Scooby and Shaggy um, like spin off series, wasn't that? Um, yeah, on Kids WB for two years. Yeah, that was like. The one with like the weird animation. I well, I can describe half of it. We just stay off now. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. Oh leave. gosh, we're missing Jim. Well, well, we have a. No, we're. Oh, we have... Bentley. Okay. Yeah, we have a Bentley section, so. All right, I got I got paranoid for a moment. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to go back there anyway. Backtracking. Yeah. Bill Baron and Spyro too. Yeah. Dang, now Harry, now you got me doing it. Yeah, because like you're you're going through new sections, so it's, I don't think it's that bad. I was gonna say I uh, vote go here. When huh? you see a ladder or wall, I was gonna say we go to the um, to Murky Swamp. And you'll grab it I think it's the only area we can go to now. Oh, I just remembered something. This has another fun section. Oh, oh yeah. 